Hi everyone, welcome back for another video. Today's video is all about finding factors of different numbers. And by factors, we mean the times tables that these numbers are in. So for example, you might be needing to find products of prime factors, in which case you need to know which times tables different numbers are in. So the main times tables we're gonna go through are the twos, the threes, the fives, and the tens, as these are the most common. So for the two times table, the way to determine if a number is in the two times table is if it's an even number, and so that it ends in two, four, six, eight, or zero. So looking at these numbers, the first number we've got here is 56. So 56 ends in a six, six is an even number, so therefore 56 will be in the two times table. 114, four, is an even number, so that will be in the two times table. 75, five is not an even number, and therefore it won't be in the two times table. Next one we're gonna look at is the three times table, and there's a special trick that you can use to determine this. So if all the digits in the number add up to a multiple of three, that number will also be in the three times table. And we'll go through these with each of these different numbers. So first of all, 63. 6 plus 3 is 9. 9 is a multiple of 3, it's in the 3 times table, so therefore 63 will be in the 3 times table as well. 128. 8 plus 2 is 10, plus 1 is 11. 11 is not in the 3 times table, so therefore 128 won't be either. 240. 2 plus 4 is 6, plus 0 is still 6. 6 is in the 3 times table, so 240 will be. Now we're going to look at the 5 times table. This is a nice one. So a number is in the 5 times table if it ends in a 5 or a 0. So 39 ends in a 9. That's not a 5 or a 0. So 39 will not be in the 5 times table. 65 ends in a 5, so that will be in the 5 times table, and 115 also ends in a 5, so that will be in the 5 times table. And then the 10 times table, all the numbers end in a 0, so 60 ends in a 0, that will be in the 10 times table, 320 also ends in a 0, but 1,132 ends in a 2, so that will not be in the 10 times table. So if you can learn these tricks, you'll be able to quickly pull them out to help you find factors for different numbers. I hope you found this useful and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!